6. Romans chapter 6. For God works all things for the good of them that love him. Hallelujah. For the good of them who are Be called blessed. according to his purpose. Let us key into the our address for the service services of the week. 106 9th Road celebrate in Johannesburg. My the number is 27 72 456 We shall surely be there. May God bless you. That and I look forward to the season. Amen. Romans chapter 6, verse 5. It says, For if we have been united with him in a death like his, we will certainly also be united with him in a resurrection like this. Like his. For we know that our old self was crucified with him so that the body ruled by sin might be done away with. That we should no longer be slaves to sin. Because anyone who has died has been set free from sin. And it says in verse 8, that now if we died with Christ, if we died with Christ, what took place some few days ago, if we died with Christ, we believe that we will also live with him. That we will also live with him. He resurrected for a newness of life. That we have been made a partaker of that newness of life. Hallelujah. It's what we celebrate this weekend. And I want you to join me to pray this morning. That this power, this event that the whole world celebrates will not pass without you having a partaker of it. Hallelujah. We know the whole world religion, even the, the Judaism, they celebrate also Passover. The Muslims also, they are in fasting. And now we Christians, we celebrate the death and the resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ. Is such a weekend that we need to tap into the realm of the atmosphere in the name of Jesus. Now I begin to pray like mighty God. Let the power of resurrection begin to work in my life. In the name of Jesus, begin to declare that. Begin to declare that. Father, Lord God, I pray this morning. I pray this morning in the name of Jesus. I pray this morning, oh Lord God, let the power of resurrection which occurred over 2,000 years ago begin to operate in my life. Begin to manifest in my life in the name of Jesus. Let the power of resurrection begin to manifest in my life. Let that be a prayer from your mouth this morning that this resurrection weekend shall not pass me by without a testimony, without a testimony. Let that be a power. <clears throat> Let that be your resurrection talk this morning. Let that be your wish for this Easter weekend. Pray upon your life. Pray upon your life. Pray upon your life. Pray upon your life. In the name of Jesus, whatever looks as if it's dead in your life, that's supposed to be to the glory of God. Pray the power of resurrection. Pray the power of resurrection to manifest in your life, to manifest in your body, to manifest in your being. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, your spiritual life must come to resurrection. Your spiritual life must come to a new birth as a result of this resurrection power. Begin to pray this morning. Begin to pray this morning. The Lord is here this morning saying, in this weekend of resurrection, 
God, it is for our testimony. It is for our testimony that he resurrected. Judge Peter say, Apostle Paul says that if he had not risen, our faith relies on nothing. And so this morning, we key in into the power of resurrection. Let that be a confession from you this morning. Begin to pray, begin to pray, 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 pray. In the name of Jesus, what do you want God to resurrect in your life? Your spiritual well-being, your health, your health, your family, your marriage. Ask God to bring forth, to speak forth by the power of this weekend. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. Let that be a word from you this morning, somebody. Let that be a word from you this morning, somebody. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Apostle Paul says in Philippians chapter 3 verse 10, he said, I want to know Christ. Yes, to know the power of his resurrection and the participation in his suffering becoming like him in his death and so some are attaining to resurrection from the dead pray this morning lord god i i i rise with christ this morning in every of my being in every of my total thoughts my intellect my revelation let them rise let them rise as we celebrate the resurrection power in the name of jesus in the name of jesus lord almighty god we pray this morning we thank you for the event of this world. We thank you for the benefit of knowing the Lord Jesus, our Son, our, your Lord, your Son. We pray that this resurrection power that has brought forth the Lord to resurrection this morning by the power of the Holy Ghost, we begin to manifest in our life. We begin to manifest in our midst in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, Lord of Lord, King of Kings. Heavenly Father, we appreciate you. We thank you, Lord God, for bringing us to be a partaker, a partaker of the resurrection power in the name of Jesus. We all know that the resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ was what was made possible by the power of the Holy Ghost. The Bible says in Romans 8, 11, is that if the Spirit that raises him from the dead, he said, if that same Spirit dwells in you, it shall quicken your mortal body. Hallelujah. That Holy Ghost which quickened him from death shall also quicken your life. In the name of Jesus, let that be a prayer. Whatever that needs to be quickened in your life, pray for the Holy Ghost to begin to quicken it in your life. Quicken it in your life. Quicken your health. Quicken your motor body. Quicken every aspect of your organs this morning because it quickened him. He quickened him to life. He quickened him to rise. And that is what we celebrate this morning. And so, Lord God, my God and my Father, I pray the power of the Holy Ghost to quicken that which is supposed to be a life in me. In the name of Jesus, let that be a declaration from you this morning. Let that be a declaration from you this morning. For my Father, my God, Lord, I pray this morning by the presence of the Holy Ghost among us and in me, let every being in me begin to be quickened. Let my mind be quickened. Let the power of the Holy Ghost be quickened in me to do that which you have planned for me. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Is there anything that is slow in your life? Is there anything not working according to your plans for this year? Is there anything that is not working according to, to your prayers, to what you desire of God. Maybe your destiny. Pray this morning as he resurrected, so shall your destiny resurrect this morning. So shall your purpose resurrect this morning. Let that be a prayer from your mouth. In the name of Jesus. Father Lord, I pray this morning by the celebration of the resurrection of our Lord Jesus. I pray my destiny to resurrect. My destiny in ministry to resurrect. My destiny in the marketplace to resurrect. In the name of Jesus, let there be a prayer from you. Key into this resurrection celebration. In the name of Jesus, the power is within us this morning. The power is within us this morning. Pray, 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 pray. Holy Spirit, we thank you. 
come and quicken our destiny. Come and quicken us to our purpose. Ask God to quicken you to your purpose. Ask God to quicken you to your purpose. In the name of Jesus, your purpose shall resurrect this morning. In the name of Jesus, pray, 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 pray. Let that be your word of prayer this morning. The Lord is here in his name. He is here with us. He is here with us. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Let the power of the Lord quicken you this morning. Quicken you to your, to your purpose. In the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. In Jesus' name we pray. The resurrection of our Lord Jesus is made possible by the Spirit of God. And as we celebrate it, we need to key into that celebration. There is a power behind that celebration. It's not what the science made possible. It's what the Holy Ghost made possible. And so I want to pray. I want you to pray this morning. Is there anything in your life that is in captivity? Is there anything in your life that the enemy has locked up? I want you to pray this power of resurrection. That wherever the, the enemy has locked up your virtue, your, 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 your wisdom, ask the Holy Ghost to resurrect your wisdom, to resurrect your virtue. In the name of Jesus, begin to pray. Father, I pray this morning. Is there anything that the enemy has taken away? Is there anything in my life that is in captivity? Father, I pray by the power of the Holy Ghost, let it be resurrected. Let it be resurrected. In the name of Jesus, I key in into the power behind the resurrection of our Lord Jesus, which we celebrate today in the name of Jesus. Any destiny, any virtue in this place that is locked up by the enemy, let them resurrect. Let them resurrect. Let them resurrect by the power of the Holy Ghost in the name of Jesus. Let that be your word this morning. Pray, 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 pray. Wherever you are, just pray this prayer. This is a weekend of resurrection. Whatever that the enemy is holding away, whatever has been buried, which has to do with your purpose in life, which has to do with your dream, this weekend, he shall resurrect. He shall be made to open. He shall be made to be lifted. You shall be lifted higher by the power of the resurrection which we celebrate today in the name of Jesus. Lord, our Lord, King of Kings, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, whatever it is that may be in any captivity, Father, Lord, let them be released. Let them come to freedom this morning. Let that be liberty. For this liberty, so Christ has come into our life that we may not be subject to any form of slavery. Therefore, where you have been enslaved, listen, someone, maybe you have been enslaved. If there is a, listen, people, there is a circumstances that may have enslaved you. Hallelujah. That may be a circumstances that may have enslaved you. That may be challenges that may have enslaved you. In this weekend of resurrection, I want you to know that there is a liberty that is coming upon you. There is a liberty that is coming upon your business. Therefore, we pray this morning by the power which caused the resurrection, the Holy Ghost, to begin to bring to life your, your life, your destiny, your business, your marriage, your family, in the name of Jesus, begin to pray, begin to pray, begin to pray. Father Lord, I pray, Almighty God, that power of resurrection, whatever that is locked away by the enemy, whatever challenges that have enslaved me, Father Lord God, let there be liberty, let there be freedom, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, thank you, mighty God. Thank you, Jehovah Nissi. In the name of Jesus, thank you, Holy Spirit of God. Thank you, Holy Spirit of God. We worship you. We give you praise. We give you honor this morning. Thank you for what we celebrate, O oh Lord God, for our hope is upon you. Our faith 
is upon you. Our redemption into newness of life is upon your resurrection. Thank you, mighty God, in the name of Jesus. First Peter chapter 1, verse 3. It says, Praise be to the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ. In his great mercy, he has given us new birth into a living hope through the resurrection of Jesus Christ from the dead and into an inheritance that can never perish, spoil, or fade. He said, this inheritance is kept in heaven for you who through faith are shielded by God's power until the coming of the salvation that is ready to be revealed in the last time in the name of Jesus. Just give Jesus a praise this morning. Just thank him. Thank him this morning. We celebrate the resurrection. We celebrate his rising for our newness of life. For our newness of life. In the name of Jesus. That we shall come alive again. Our dreams shall come alive again. Our destiny shall come alive again. And your business shall come alive again. Your family shall come alive again. Your ministry shall come alive again. Give Jesus a clap of me. Hallelujah. Happy Easter. Happy Easter. May God bless you this morning. Put your hands together as we take our announcement. God bless you. God bless you. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord.